headed out to Pomacos, which is a small, fairly rural clinic. We're going to be bringing out one of the V-Scan ultrasounds. We are predominantly a rural country. Uh, our towns and cities account for maybe about 10% of the population. One of the biggest challenges we have is to improve the health care for a rural majority. I've seen what my uh, parents have gone through in their own villages. We've had some really tough times. Sometimes they deliver on the road, sometimes uh, in the house. Oh, it's really hard. Hard for them walking down from here to the hospital or aid post. It's really hard. With a portable device like the V-Scan, we're taking great care out to the people where they are, and not just one hospital and the people living around that hospital. We go to the patrol and we see that it's breach, and then we tell the mother that she will be unable to deliver in the village and will lead to difficulties and problems, lead even to her death. Mm -hmm. So we can advise her and take her to the health center and protect her from there. Another thing is portable. And many times we are without light and without power. So kind of help is really something wonderful what we can give to the mothers. When you show the mother the heartbeat and position of the baby, the mama got quiet. I think they are very excited. There was a patient in Wabek that was suspected ectopic. She had fluid outside the uterus. She's been operated on and she's already been discharged. That was last week. Hopefully we will learn things that we don't really think of yet. One of the midwives told us that one of her goals is to try to get more husbands in. It's a family thing, having a baby. And uh, everybody wants a healthy mom and a healthy baby. We just want to see what we can do to help encourage that. So we, we visited uh, Pomokos Sabah Center in the South Valley to uh, hand over the last of the seven V-scan devices that GE provided. But once we got there, um, about 200 women and children were excited to see us. We had a small handover ceremony where the local council was present. And Papua New Guineans, we need that. We need to put something back to the community. Make that difference. Don't wait for tomorrow. What can you do today? And let's do it today.